actions, your principles are not accommodated to circumstance. You have them regardless. They are yourself. You separate yourself from your principles, you're no one. Our goal is not the victory of might, but the vindication of right. Not peace at the expense of freedom, but both peace and freedom. Nos traicionó un presidente americano, el señor John F. Kennedy, que por mucha vuelta que le quiera dar la historia, fue un traidor. I must admit that we trusted North Americans and their government fully at that time. We should have never let the U.S. participate in the decisions that only we were going to suffer for or benefit from. And the whole situation would have been different had we gotten the help that we were promised. Nos traicionaron, nos embarcaron, nos dejaron tirados allí, nos ofrecieron cobertura aérea y no la dieron. You reach a state where you have no food, no water, you're totally exhausted. Your brain is drained out where you could care less if they kill you or not. Sometimes it's better, you know, to die than going through all of this. When I wake up, I saw the wall and I saw the half 5,000 meters. And I say, my God, I am in jail. Then Fidel Castro came to our cell block. I said, well, I warn you that you're going to be interviewed nationally and whatever you say there will determine your future. They were hoping that we would bow to mouth the United States. And I went there and defended my principles and then left <laughs> and I said, this is the end of my future. <laughs> he said, uh, I got some good news for you. You're not going to be killed. What we're going to do is the following. We're going to sentence you to 30 years in prison, but we are also putting a ransom on each of you. President Kennedy felt very guilty about our plight because fundamentally he had abandoned us. We were given, given, uh, given a choice. You can join the army, you know, go as a, as a lieutenant, or you can go to school and we'll provide you with a loan. The reason we select military is because we were promised that, that, is another part of the story. that <laughs> then we were going to liberate Cuba. We were asked by the uh, uh, Central Intelligence Agents, one of their agents here, who were asked what we were going to do if we were terminated. In other words, that they wanted to back out from the plan and just leave us hanging there. And I say, well, you can terminate me, but I'm not going to terminate the struggle. The, the proudest thing that I have done in my life is, is participating in the Bay of Pigs invasion. I'm very proud of that. I think I have been made proud. We're so proud. That's the only thing I can say. We're so proud of having been in the beginning of the nonviolent movement in Cuba. You, you cannot be just going through this life sucking air and not giving anything back. Thank Question you. the truth. Question reality. Question, the, rea the truth that is being sold to you, question it. Because, you know, you may find some holes in it. In every aspect of your life. In every aspect of your life. Aprende en la vida que tienes que pensar con la cabeza, no con el corazón. Y eso es un consejo que le doy a todo el mundo. A todo. Cuando vayas a tomar una decisión, piensa con la cabeza. No piensa con el corazón, porque el corazón te lleva a veces a dar la decisión equivocada. When you see death this close, you appreciate life a lot more. It, it made me more mature. Me ha hecho más cínico de ver la vida con mucho más cinismo. When you leave after 20 years in a prison, communist prison particularly, you live with more maturity than, than 10 years of a a life strife in the streets. It was my duty, it was my country. No higher duty than that. There was no other choice. For us, the invasion was the only opening for Cuba to be free. We still united in, in the same principle, you know? And we're willing tomorrow to go back to Cuba to defend that. And I still have faith in the young people in Cuba, and I think that they're going to pick up the flag and they're going to achieve 
what they're looking for, what everybody wants here and their freedom. And one day, I know that I'm going to be in Havana and say, we won. Because we lost a battle, but not the war. I always look forward to returning to Cuba, always.